There is indeed, yes. Now, talking of singing, our next guest is set to make uh, the music world take the music world by storm. He's just 15 years old. He's named after a singing legend, John Lennon. His influences include blues and Bob Dylan, and he's recently been signed by the man behind Oasis and Primal Scream. So John and Lennon McCullough, yes, it's his real name, is from Doncaster. He's getting rave reviews from his gigs locally. He and his manager dad, John, join us now. So we've got John Jr. and John Sr. This is so exciting, John, because you didn't take the guitar up till quite recently, did you? No, not till about 12. Yeah, just uh, started writing songs about last year. And it was Bob Dylan, wasn't it? Yeah, Bob your, Dylan. Eureka moment, tell us about that. Yeah, when I was 12, I heard um, Positively Fall Street, one day on the radio, and that were it. And it uh, changed my life. <laughs> Dad, obviously you've got a, a talented son here, but yeah. I believe you were a bit of a muso yourself. Did you have a kind of a folky bent? I've, I've tried to do it a little bit, yeah. <laughs> you know, two or three songs are in there, but it's, it's obviously so much passed over on too, so... Yeah, what, what, he's, uh, what he's doing, what he's doing. And of course he's writing his own material too, and that's not easy, is it? Unbelievable, he's writing some incredible songs, you know, in one of his albums, eight minutes long, which, yeah, I, could, I could never do that, put it that way. And John, tell us about that moment you were discovered, because it's like something out of a fairy tale, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, really amazing. Yeah, I always thought it, I never, I never really thought it would happen, but um, he said, I'll sign you. And, and this is Alan McGee who yeah. discovered Jesus No Chain, the Libertines Oasis. I know, yeah, that, yeah. That compliment that, is it? No, it was really amazing and it's such an honour to work with Alan McGee. And, and your songs, they have a kind of a, a political commentary. You're, you're quite astute uh, politically for a, one so young, if I may say so. <laughs> yeah, well, I was brought up in a mining village called Rosington in Doncaster and I just wrote about what I see in just different things and it just all comes from there, really. And you've got loads coming up, haven't you? You've got the tour and album out. Yes, uh, playing my nah, singles out September 16th for next month. Um, uh, album's out October the 14th. And then uh, playing a hometown gig on the 29th of November at the Dome. So it'll be great, yeah. We're in the main. And I bet John Cena keeps your feet on the ground. <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. I'll try the best, you know, so. <laughs> Lovely. We'll hear you in a minute, John, but first. Thank you. Let's get the forecast from Keely. Thank you very much. Well, before we go with the forecast, I've got some pictures to show you uh, from over the course of the weekend. The first picture is a dramatic sky. Nice picture there. Um, before sunset, that was yesterday at Normanton. Uh, the second picture, Adeldam Red Nature Reserve. That was sent in by Beverly Silverman. And the third picture uh, is Heather on Ilkley Moor. Some blue sky, a lovely clouds there over the course of the weekend. You can, of course, keep your pictures coming in. Uh, Paul, the weatherman at bbc.co.uk, or you can tweet me at Keely Donovan. So we've had a fair few showers today. They've been producing some uh, hail and thunder in places. Yes, there will be one or two tomorrow, but there will be lighter in nature and there won't be quite as many of them. And the breeze will be lighter too, but I think there will be a fair amount of cl cloud about, so perhaps not uh, such good sunny spells as we go through the day tomorrow. And then as we make our way through Wednesday, we're going to have a very weak feature, but it's a warm front nonetheless, and we will have uh, temperatures on the rise, uh, quite a humid spell of weather, I think, by the end of the week. So back to the here and now. Here's the satellite picture from there. You can see the mottled effect on the satellite picture there, the shower clouds. And actually, there have been some really heavy ones, like some reports of hail and thunder in places. There's still a few, particularly in more eastern parts. They'll tend to clear away eastwards. So clear skies spreading from the west. So if you are interested in the meteor shower, an ideal night, long clear spells. But it is going to be quite a chilly night with temperatures out in the countryside falling back into single figures, particularly uh, over the likes of the Dales uh, in Townsend City, around 11 or 12 degrees below. So the sun will rise in the morning at 5.40, setting again at 8.41. Your next high water in Brillington will be at 7 minutes past 9 tomorrow morning. So there could be the odd uh, patch of mist around to start the day. Otherwise, it's a fine start to the day with plenty of sunshine. But I think what we'll find is cloud is going to spill up from the southwest, so turning cloudier through the day. At times, it could really be quite cloudy, and the cloud could be thick enough in one or two spots to produce the odd light shower, but many places will avoid them and stay dry. Now the breeze is going to be lighter as we go through the course of the day and temperatures uh, are perhaps up a notch in today's values around 19 or 20 degrees, a similar day to come on Wednesday. Some heavy showers through the day on Thursday. Great stuff, thank, thank you, Julie. Thank you very much. That's it from us for now. Yes, but uh, before we go, we'll leave you tonight with the sound of John Lennon McCullough. Remember, you heard him first here, and when he sings as famous as the Beatles, hopefully, Lottie, <laughs> he'll come back and see us. He'll have forgotten all about us. <laughs> what a talent. Good night. Enjoy. <laughs> As I 
sit down here now to write these words for you. Think of all the promises and what they've offered you. You'll have a job at 16, it says so on the news. But as I look around, I see no jobs but no queues. The country has lost its boys and took us for a ride. Believe me when I say to you, it's an off south. I'm not saying that I'm right, I'll never be so cool. But I know when there's more to life than the books I've read in school. The factories have all closed down, the mines went years ago. So what the hell is left for me, I'd really like to know. The country has lost its poison, took us far.